The evolution of this uh, encapsulated cell technology um, goes back almost 20 years. At that time we had uh, encapsulated cells which we would uh, develop from an animal experiment, even you know, in vitro experiments, all the way to two early phase clinical studies where we would use this technology. When uh, Pharmacite took over the technology, um, it was a, a good thing to do, but it wasn't ready yet. During the last three years, the technology has developed to um, a level of um, maturity, I should say, which would allow us now to do pivotal clinical studies. This is now a modern trial design which uh, accommodates the new uh, level of knowledge which we didn't have 20 years ago but we have today and uh, concentrating on patients uh, with locally advanced disease is probably taking advantage of the technology as such. The unmet medical need for this technology is the locally advanced pancreatic cancer after the initial therapy. There is no second line therapy for those who responded, didn't progress, but cannot be operated either. I think that this trial design is the best chance for success for this kind of technology. Um, the people involved, uh, namely Dr. Van Hoff and Professor Hidalgo, uh, are certainly um, outspoken experts in the field in the United States, having uh, you know, mastered uh, many clinical trials and being at the forefront of both the clinical and uh, translational science. This in itself is uh, quite an um, accomplishment. With regard to the FDA, I was with the first meeting 15 years ago and uh, we now had a very promising pre-IND meeting with FDA, which I think pointed out uh, some a few minor issues which need to be resolved, but all in all was a very positive meeting. The uh, manufacturing process has to be finalized in a way that we have a clinical product which can be used in this pivotal study and maybe even further on, number one. Number two, we have to decide on the final uh, protocol on the final tr um, design of the trial, which I think will be done shortly, so that we can fi uh, so that we can start with the study later this year. If one looks back 20 years and looks where we are at now, one has to uh, realize that this is a huge step forward. This is now a clinical product which can safely be used routinely in patients, whereas what we had at that time was something which is still has the same uh, principle but wasn't as much matured as it is today.